I want to see what tools you've got hiding in your DM kit. The engineer's pack. The engineer's pack. The engineer's pack. My buddy Indestructible challenged me and a few other TTRPG content creators to show off what we have in our DM toolkit. If you are familiar with the channel, I'm vocal about how I don't DM too often and have a focus on being on the player side of the DM screen. But that doesn't mean I don't have a toolkit ready for when I decide to DM for my playgroup. The purpose of my kit is to provide visual clarity at the table while also having the tools I need at the time for reference. The first item is a chess X roll mega mat. My playgroup has had this since we started playing 5th edition. We've experimented with 3D terrain here and there, but we've always returned to using this as it's just much easier for us to adjust on the fly. In addition, to the mega mat my group frequently uses minis but due to portability and storage i switched over to these awesome weighty race tokens from tactical tokens i picked up their basic all white essentials pack that comes with medium large huge and gargantuan base sizes these are perfect for the random encounters where you need to put something down that you didn't prep for because your party is a bunch of chaos demons or if you didn't have enough goblin minis to make up the enemy forces next is something to help with 3d combat when i saw these flight indicators on critical role i knew i had to have them axe and shield has an awesome set of 3d combat rises for large areas and for single figures they're made from sturdy plastic with a variety of lengths and can be put together or taken apart with ease. This has been extremely helpful with my playgroup to provide a visual aid to help with enemy and player character height. Sometimes we've used these combat risers to indicate height for terrain and not actual flight to help everyone think in 3D space. When it comes to dice, I have bought and been gifted a ton of sets, but my go-to set of dice has been the set provided in the D&D 5th Edition Essentials Kit. They're just really convenient. It has two D20s, four D6s, and a single die for the other sizes. But the way the set is arranged is something I think dice makers who are making dice sets geared specifically towards D&D 5th edition should consider doing with their sets. Trying to measure out the area of effect of spells can be tough, but luckily my buddy gifted the entire playgroup an AoE damage template, which has come in clutch to figure out the correct measurements for a spell's area of effect range. It's clear plastic with different colored marks to help differentiate the most common area measurements found in spells and abilities. My MacBook acts as my DM screen. For all rules, abilities, and spells, D&D Beyond or Roll20 was at my fingertips. Fantasy Name Generator came in handy when I needed a name for a random NPC and didn't want to name them Bob. For my campaign notes, I started off using Notion to create a wiki-like database for myself, but eventually just moved over to Google Docs because I found myself spending more time trying to set up reference pages that I would only see instead of actually spending time on session prep. The last thing I'd use is Spotify with a bunch of music playlists I created for different scenarios to help set the mood. My go-to music choice tends to be anything from the Elder Scrolls franchise as I find the music provides a nice ambient sound without being too distracting for the players. Playing the music is my portable Bose SoundLink speaker. This thing is a champ being compact and the sound packs a punch. The last thing I bring with me is whatever monster or campaign books I need to have on hand. When I was DMing, I had to send into Avernus on hand to refer back to if I missed something in my notes or something unexpected came up due to party choices. For monsters not in the campaign book, I brought the Monster Manual Vola's Guide or Tome of Foes with me. If I was looking to spice up combat and throw something different at my players, I'd leave those books behind and bring Cobalt Press's Creature Codex or Tome of Beast with me as they had some awesome monsters with different and interesting abilities that can make combat more than just an HP slugfest. And that's my DM toolkit. You can find all the links to the items in the description below. Thanks again Taryn for the challenge. Go check out his video to see what's in his toolkit. I have a link to his video in the description below too. <laughs> this was a fun one and with that said I want to hear from you. What do you have in your DM toolkit? Let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video give it a like and as always if you want to see more content from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright I'm out of here. Have a good one.